Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Dr. Sass um, Mastery. YouTube channel is about mastering life, about mastering your career. It's about everything that has to do with mastery. And today we're going to talk about exploring the meaning of life through different worldview, religious worldview, right? And how we can incorporate that into our vision, our life vision, and our business vision. And there, there are, oh my gosh, there are so many different religions in the world. And um, we just gonna touch on a few of them, maybe I think it's seven of them. The biggest, the, the most um, popular religion, I wouldn't say, uh, maybe popular is the wrong word to say, is, is the, it has the most follower. It, the religion is Christianity. Right, that's number one. The second one is Islam, and the third one, believe it or not, is is um, is the atheist and the people, um, the agnostic and the secular people who doesn't believe in in any religion in particular. The the fourth one is um, Hinduism, and then Buddhism, right? And then there's many others that follow. So we're gonna touch on a little bit of, of those. And um, why why are we talking about this? Because your your vision, your life vision, your business um, vision, your purpose is you know, depends on all this different belief system that you grew up with. Me, I'm, I'm an interesting human being in the fact that I grew up in a Buddhist home, but I go to, I went to Christian school. So as I was, you know, since I was young, I have two belief systems shaping who I am. And um, and that is very interesting. And then you you become so non-judgmental, right? Because you know, I know why the Buddhists believe um, a certain way, and the Christian believe a certain way. It's just the way they were taught, and and the perspective of of how we see things depends on how how we grew up, right? And how we we, we were taught since we were young. So let's let's talk about Christianity. Christianity is the number one religion in the world. And with Christianity, believe in love and a personal relationship with God, right? Following God's teaching, Jesus' um, teaching. And so when, when you are a Christian, promoting a culture of compassion, of empathy, of ethical decision-making um, is, is in, in line with your belief system. So when you incorporate that in, into your, your um, business vision and your life vision, you put people first, you um, foster a positive environment, and that's the Christianity point of view. Second, we're gonna look at Buddhism. Right? How does Buddhism uh, belief system um, incorporate their belief into um, their vision, um, their purpose in life? Right? Buddhists believe in um, seeking inner peace, seeking inner peace to end our sufferings. Right? So when you incorporate mindfulness practice into your workplace, and meditation into your life um, vision, um, stress reduction techniques and, and stuff like that. Those are Buddhist um, practice. And um, when, when you embrace a mindful approach to your life vision, to your business vision, that would um, improve the well-being of your overall um, uh, business of your overall life, right? It will um, just make you your life more fulfilling if you are Buddhist. And we, we'll conclude that in, in a little bit. The third religion we're going to talk about is Hinduism. Hindus believe in self-realization and merging with the ultimate reality, right? So with Hinduism, encouraging personal growth, providing opportunities for yourself, for your employer, uh, I mean for your employees, to explore their passion, to explore their potential, to promote um, a sense of purpose and a sense of fulfillment is a very um, good way to to do that when when um, you incorporate your Hinduism belief system in into your vision, and um, by aligning your individual 
um, aspiration with the organization goal, you're really in line with your Hinduism belief, right? So the fourth belief system um, or religion we're going to talk about is Islam. Islam is a, a very large religion, right? Um, I have a lot of people in the world, believe, uh, a lot of believers in the world, Muslim, um, are the people that uh, believe in Islam um, religion, and they believe in submission to the Allah's will, right? And leading a righteous life. Allah is it's just like God in, uh, in Islamic um, uh, language. <laughs> Um, in the context of business, right, this can be translated into um, fostering integrity, honesty, and social responsibility, right? That, that's is, is Islamic um, point of view. And by conducting business ethically, you that's how you incorporate that that belief into your business vision, treating your employees and your customer with fairness, for example. That's that's um, the, the vision uh, based on Islamic beliefs and um, create a positive um, reputation and, and long-term success. You can do that with conducting your business in this way. All right, let's continue to number five is Judaism. This religion believes in fulfilling God's commandments, right? This is the, uh, the purpose of life is to do that and to seek spiritual growth, promoting lifelong learning, emphasizing the value of integrity, honesty um, in, in business build, dealing is a very important part of Judaism belief system and um, engaging in, in the acts of um, social justice is very important. So by nurturing the culture of learning and moral responsibility, you know, the business vision based on Judaism belief uh, is very in align with, with their belief system. And um, the next one we're going to talk about is Sikhism. The Sikh um, teaches the importance of uh, living a truthful and ethical life. Right. So, with with um, the business and life vision for for the Zik would be incorporating um, the principal involvement in transparency, in trust, in um, selfless service. So, with with business vision, you want to prioritize the needs of customer, the needs of society, businesses um, uh, that base their system on on this Sikhism belief can you know when, when when they set their vision this way they can foster a very loyal and impactful employees. So I I believe Sikhism is a very interesting um, belief system is uh, it's very philosophical right is it's almost like I think they believe in God is there's one God for everybody, and um, there's no secular, there's no uh, um, Judaism, there's no Christianity. Everyone is all one, and there's no separation. And I, I, I just think it's very interesting. Um, I don't know much about it, but um, uh, with the little part that I know about Sikhism, they, that's a, is a very interesting um, uh, religion. So the last one we're going to talk about is Taoism. Taoism is, is also a very old religion, right? It's based on the belief, the belief in seeking harmony with the natural flow of Tao, right? Balancing, seeking the balance, um, embracing the change, right? So in, in, in the business world, then you would want to adapt to the market dynamic, right? Fostering a culture of flexibility and balance. So you want to recognize the interconnectedness of all elements um, when you uh, you know, base your vision upon Taoism and, you know, create a, a business that is harmonious with, with everything and with everyone, right? And and that's, that's a wrap, you all. That's the seven belief um, system, you know, the top belief system in, in the world. And um, when, when, when you talk to different people, 
and you will come across different people with different belief. And when when you have your life vision, your your business vision, you want to base it on what you know, your belief system, right? So you want to just lay it all out on the table. If you are the third group, the group who doesn't belong to any secular, and you just want to, I'm I'm morphing into that. Actually, I was a Christian, um, like full. Fresh Christian at one point in my life, like go to church every um, Wednesday, every Sunday. I, you know, all this stuff and study different books. And I was Buddhist um, growing up as a young child, um, sitting in the temple, um, chanting with the monks. And um, I, I study other philosophy, and I, I think they are all good. And I pick and choose, right? It, A little bit of this, a little bit of that. There's a song for that, and whatever that speaks to your heart, and and you know, you know, when you lay, you, you put out everything, your authenticity, right, out on the table, and say, what is my life purpose? What is my vision for my life, and and for my business, for my career. And and really take time to reflect on your belief. Only you know, right? Nobody can tell you what to do. Um, we can just I can only give you the information of what I know, and you take it, you digest it, and then you create the vision of your dream, the life that you desire, the business that you desire, and the career that you want. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Based on the seven, seven religious, seven belief system, and I think they all are wonderful. And I don't know what I am. I am a secular. I believe because I believe in what part of what Taoism is. I, you know, the what Buddhists said about to in all suffering, right? And part of my business, I incorporate that. In, in into what I do every day, you know, Christianity um, to to love one another like God loves you, you know, it's just so very very powerful, and um, you know I can rant on and on all day long about this, but that's it in a nutshell: the seven religions of the world and how you in, can incorporate all that or. Whatever your belief system is, you want to incorporate that into your vision and into your life purpose. That's it for now. Make it a great day. Until next time, if you like this content, ring the bell notification, click subscribe, and comment below. Thank you. Bye for now.